My Lords, um, I too would like to thank Lord Greaves for bringing this. What a topical and timely debate, which enables us to give immediate feedback to the Prime Minister's speech today on the 25-year environment plan. Uh, being an optimist, I had hoped for some concrete measures within that speech, but sadly, the whole speech was underwhelming. I'm told it was very lyrical. I didn't pick that up. But I, I did spot that there was absolutely nothing new on climate change. And there were no measures, there were no strong measures, no suggestions for legislative change that could actually make a difference. And, for example, I, I just don't understand how the Prime Minister can claim that we as a country are leading on climate change when she is just about to give the green light to more fracking. We are still banning onshore wind developments. We are still trying to build new nu nuclear power stations and we're giving tax breaks to oil and gas. None of these things is going to help us to, to have a cleaner, greener, safer planet. So I'm at the end of um, my few words, I will make a few suggestions to the government for things that could be brought in fairly quickly and that would really make a difference and would mean that people like me could stand up here and say well done to the government. That would be a wonderful day. Um, I, um, I, 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 I realise that... Um, <laughs> I realise that um, a, a lot of us here have, have said similar things. We're all concerned <coughs> about the China ban. The fact is, um, the ban on recycled waste going to China is, le is going to lead to a UK pile-up. And the big problem for me, and for many Greens, is that it's, we are on the verge of burning more waste than we currently recycle, because our recycling is falling <coughs> for all sorts of reasons. It is not that people care less about recycling. In fact, People care more and more about recycling, and they diligently separate their waste. And then some councils, because of contracts that they've got locked into with incinerator companies, actually then pile all the waste back together and throw it in incinerators. This is something the public really doesn't like. And so incineration is absolutely not the way forward. And the point at which we are going to start incinerating, burning more waste than we currently recycle, is, of course, closer because of the China ban. Uh, there is a logic to generating some electricity from waste that we can't recycle or, or reuse, but it's meant to be a last resort and it simply <coughs> isn't that anymore. What we've created instead is a market-driven system of incinerators that constantly need to be fed. As restrictions have been placed on sending rubbish to landfill, our waste has been diverted into these newly built incinerators rather than increasing levels of recycling. And burning waste is not good for climate change. There are fears over health impacts uh, because of the weakness of their air pollution monitoring systems. But for me, it's the sheer waste of resources by burning that offends me so deeply. <coughs> incinerators are ash-producing products of our make, break and throw away culture and as such, really have to start being rethought. Personally, I do my best to refuse and reuse and recycle, um, but sometimes it is hard, and I have sought out shops where, in fact, you can just pick up your vegetables, you weigh them yourself, pay at the till. You don't even need paper bags, let alone plastic bags. You can put everything in your big shopping bag. It is possible to do this. And many greengrocers, of course, have always done this. It's only the rise of huge supermarkets that has encouraged so much wrapped waste. And there was the classic story about the Marks and Spencers cauliflower steaks, which were slices of cauliflower wrapped in plastic on a plastic base. And also organic coconuts mm. that were wrapped in plastic. If ever ever a fruit had an impermeable, safe exterior, you would have thought it was coconuts. Um, and so, for me, uh, the speech was underwhelming without any real sense of urgency to deal with a situation that we all now care about. And none of us can say anymore that we don't understand it, that we don't know what's happening. Uh, part of it is design in housing. We had a housing debate earlier, and, and part 
of the solution because, of course, green solutions don't just encompass recycling or stopping incineration, they encompass everything. And, for example, good design of blocks of flats means that people can recycle easily but also <coughs> recycle their food waste, which at the moment is, is being thrown away by virtually every council in London and the UK. And the China ban shows the folly of a strategy that relies on exporting our recycling and burning the rest. A charge on incineration, I think, would level the playing field, and that's one of the ideas that I'm going to put forward. You know, companies and consumers need a steer and a nudge, and it's not enough to urge companies to have plastic-free aisles. You have to legislate for it. So in the spirit of green generosity, I'm going to list a few measures that could be brought in fairly quickly, some of them, and that would mean that the government is actually taking this, this situation very seriously. First of all, the, the whole issue of using less. Plastic-free aisles, wonderful, but mandatory, not urging companies to do it. We have to ban plastics that we can't recycle. They are simply not a sensible way forward anymore. We must bring in an incinerator charge so that they're paying the true cost of burning valuable resources. We must ban the building of more incinerators as well. We have plenty at the moment. And we must insist as well that materials used, any materials used by manufacturers and producers, have a minimum recycled content so that they understand the need to use recycled materials. And, of course, a deposit on glass and plastic bottles. That is something the government could bring in tomorrow, and I very much look mm. forward to it. Quite honestly, nature doesn't waste anything, and neither should we. My Lords, I'm very grateful to the House.